Oh well, Joshua Kyle here. Thought I'd do a update. Um, let me spin camera around. Uh, as you can see, my tractor multiplied. <laughs> um, this is a MTD 960. It's the 1400 series. Um, I bought this along with the snowblower, the one bottom plow, and back there is a tiller. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm still get, having a cold. Um, I found this on Facebook, had to jump on it because it's lifetime that you get a tiller, snowblower, which are actual MTD parts, by the way, and they, they have Brindley one bottom plow. Um, this tractor is cosmetically in a lot rougher shape than my blue one. Um, but the engine is complete. It's it is worn out. I was told by the prior or owner, <coughs> and I did not know that there is this blower shroud here. Um, the tank is actually mounted, um, and this was a actually a running tractor up until it was parked. Um, it has a new, uh, almost brand new clutch and a right angle gearbox. Paid 500 for the whole thing. Uh, the right angle gearbox is worth 300 as is. Um, so my plan is to put the clutch and right angle gearbox from this into my blue tractor, which is a, I found out since it's a 12 horsepower Briggs instead of 14, this is a technically an 860. But they're the same frame. This has much nicer uh, tins. It has the dash isn't as broken, and it also has stickers. This one <coughs> doesn't. But I might use this hood. Uh, I might drill these out, use this, and the latches or find something that is equivalent on that one. Um, <coughs> uh, the lift actually does work. It actually has the thing for when you want to float like a piece of attachment. Um, so I'll be transferring that over to this. Um, I am getting another one which is a, another one like this. Yes, I'll have three tractors similar, but that one's gonna be parts. Um, someone told me to watch the, <coughs> the keyways on the transmission and the bearings because it chains. Um, I'll probably end up using this transmission or I don't know which one I might swap parts. Um, the plow I'm keeping, the snowblow, snowblower I plan on getting rid of because when I do the diesel conversion, I will not have this front PTO. <coughs> I will be keeping the recoil so I can start it just in case. Um, and then the alternator will be ran right here. Um, yeah, and I didn't know that this tin was supposed to be there, so I'm gonna have to think about uh, doing something like that for the diesel. <coughs> um, yes, this tires off its rim, but I don't care, I'll be using this stuff. Um, so I'll probably end up having two running and working tractors. One of them is gonna be a uh, a puller. I might end up rebuilding that 14 Briggs and using that along with the snowblower, but I'm not quite sure yet. But I know I'm going to use this as my primary work tractor, but I'm going to put parts from that one in here because it's much nicer. Um, and yeah, yeah, as you can see, the front tires are they're bulging. Uh, sorry for the mess. I just we put stuff from my other 5x10 in here. Uh, 
And that this nutting cart, which is a pretty de decent size, it's about the length of the tracker, which is about six and a half feet, probably about three feet wide, is going to be my base for my Wisconsin rig. Yes, I know stuff is on it, but um, and for that pin, I got this nutting appliance dolly. <coughs> I scored these down in the Twin Cities uh, and I figured that was perfect for that to keep it in the rustic barn fine look. <coughs> uh, that generator is still, still being very grumpy. Uh, I don't know if I showed this but I got a larger compressor. Sorry I'm by the freeway and it's an old spray sp spray it model 14,000 uh, it's a four gallon tank it doesn't look like four um, and this th this motor runs all the time um, and it unloads the head which I thought was very interesting so I got to put a new air filter which I sorry purchased from Granger. Uh, I don't know if I showed you in the last. In, I bought one of these that's going to go on there. <coughs> um, and that's going to be my my compressor. I got to do a, a amperage test. I, I'm kind of stuck with a generator this year. Um, I might end up end up using that. Power-wise, 3,500 watt or a 2,000 watt inverter uh, from a friend, or I might buy a brand new one from Harbor Freight. Yes, I don't want to. I'm going with that one just because of great reviews. Um, and the last item is with my car, and there's a reason with why the hood's up. Uh, first off, is I accidentally rear-ended someone. <coughs> um, it was a Toyota Tacoma, uh, hit the hitch receiver, glad there was no hitch, uh, peeled some paint there, and then I had to replace the alternator because the old one failed. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, battery light came on coming up Thompson Hill. Uh, I charged it up. Uh, yeah, and funny story is, uh, the next day I went to work, I went to advance, they tested it, it was failed. So I price checked there, went to O'Reilly's, it hesitated to start, um, but I got it started, and then I made it to VW Duluth to get a price quote, <coughs> and then when I tried to leave there, it uh, didn't even start. Um, so I made, they gave me a jump. I made it home, but not before the airbag light turned on. The brake, the emergency brake light was flashing, and the transmission uh, park neutral drive reverse was all lit up, and it was acting very, very, very squirrely. Um, and then I, I got the one in advance. Um, that had the wrong pulley. It was too, it was too far forwards. So I actually physically put the wrong pulley on. This uh, space was back here and this was forward, so that failed. So I returned that one as defective. Got this one from O'Reilly's. Uh, they had a shipping delay and I didn't get it till Monday of this week, <coughs> or of the week I'm recording, which is July 10th. Um, so I got that everything's happy now. It's putting out 14.1 volts at idle, which is much better than it was. Um, yeah, it's about to rain. Uh, I'll probably won't bump. I might bend this out, or I might just leave it. I know I gotta throw the cover back on. Um, this uh, sits down right here. You can kind of see where it's been rubbing. Um, Car still drives just fine. It just looks ugly in the front end, um, but uh, <coughs> I'm 
Not too worried about it. I'm going to save up for a Jetta Sport Wagon because this thing is a can of worms. Uh, besides the transmission, ABS pump control module, and so far not this year. Uh, last year when I was humid out, when I when I turned and then I went to how it does un unclick the turn signal, I'll pop the turn fi signal fuse. Uh, so there's a screwed up wiring in here. Uh, don't really want to deal with it. Um, yeah, just random trash behind me. Uh, so that's been what's up with my car, <coughs> my tractor, and all my new stuff. Uh, yeah, I I had to upgrade from a 10 by or 10 by 10 to a 10 by 20. Um, partially because our snow blowers in here, my dad's bikes, weed whacker, actually two weed whackers. That one I got from my old boss at Super One. That's a workhorse. Uh, that thing likes to spit line out of the head. And this it runs like a champ. It just, I burned through quite a bit of line working on trimming the harvest show. Um, yeah. Yeah, between my, I'm gonna start thin out, thinning out my horde. I'm gonna keep the four horse Kohler and the 33 horse Briggs. I'm gonna make something out of that. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this Toro uh, uh, 159cc electric start engine of a Toro. Uh, came on a, a lawnmower that my friend got for me. I, we scrapped the deck. Um, yeah, so. And cleaning out the other storage unit, my dad gave me a six by six foot uh, canopy tent, which is going to come in wonderful for the harvest show. <coughs> uh, that thing was given to me by a neighbor. I am probably going to just toss it. Because the blade is bent, and I don't really want to deal with it. Um, there's a trash pick more. Uh, it runs, but it needs a new blade. I'm going to probably do a spark plug and oil change if I do. And it's going to go up for sale. That I don't even know what I will be doing. Um, so that's basically an update on me. I'm still suffering a cold. And that is a Buffalo the Tools 2000 watt generator that had a rusty frame. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thought I would quickly add to the video. Um, I did add the new air filter. Uh, here is a reducer from three quarter to three eighths, then a three quarter straight elbow uh, to the filter. I did some electrical testing on this. Um, it draws around. 35 40 amps on startup then it drops down under full pressure pumping air against pressure about 15 then when it clicks out it draws about 10 um, I did add more oil to it because it was low um, that I would add this quick um, I freed up the drain on the bottom of the tank uh, I'm going to redo the fittings to work with what I have Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.